Hi, hello, and this is Margo with Margo Easy Coding, and I'm here to present another video. Today we are going to learn about coding for the observation room. So before we get to that, I'm going to do a quick summary, but first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for all the subscribers and all the views. Remember, I'm here for you. These videos are for free and I do this because I just want to do it and offer something to people that might be interested in learning more about billing and coding. Okay, so let's start. Let me do a quick review. And remember, you need to watch my videos in order so that they will make sense to you because we are building up the codes as we go. All right, so first of all, we have learned about office visits 99201 to 99205 for a new patient, 99211 to 99215 for an established patient. 99241 to 99245 for a patient that goes to see a specialist. And for all those codes, our place of service is always 11. Place of service, office, 11. Remember, uh, start getting used to uh, the idea that everything gets translated into codes the services, the procedures, the place of service as well. All right. And then we have learned um, that 992A1 to 99285 is for the emergency room. And the place of service for the emergency room is 23 emergency. Okay. And then we have learned about the consultation inpatient consultation codes, which are the 99251 to 99255. That is for a patient that is already admitted in the hospital and um, a specialist requ a provider requires a specialist to come and see the patient. And for those, our place of service is 21, inpatient. Remember? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch my other videos, okay? So what about if a patient is not admitted in the hospital, is not being seen in the office, but is actually in observation, observation status? So we have one code, one CPT code, for a patient that is in observation status and that patient doesn't get admitted. That patient is gonna be in the observation room for less than 23 hours, okay? Our code for that is 99217. And I want for you to notice something. Our last code over here was 99215. And now I'm going to 99217. So what happened to 99216? 99216, it doesn't exist. There is nothing for a 99216. You're not gonna find it in the CPT code. You're not gonna find it anywhere. For some reason, 99216, it doesn't exist. It means nothing. Why? I have no idea, okay? So, now that we know that, let's learn more about 99217. 99217 is the CPT code for a patient that is in the observation room. This patient is not admitted let me give you an example. Mary is pregnant. She is seven months old pregnant. Uh, she goes to see her doctor and she's bleeding a little bit and she's cramping. So her doctor decides to send her to the observation room. The patient, the doctor didn't say, I'm going to send you to the emergency room. And the doctor didn't say, I'm going to admit you. No, 
the doctor said, I'm going to put you in observation. We're going to give you uh, treatment, um, some medications to stop the cramping, and let's see how you progress, okay? So the doctor is going to go and see the patient in the observation room. Eventually, Mary gets better and gets to go home. She did not get admitted. She was in observation for less than 23 hours. So the doctor bills to the insurance company 99217. I saw Mary in the observation room and then she went home because she got better, okay? So what is our place of service for a patient that is in observation and did not get admitted? 11? No, 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 no. 11 is for the office. 21? No, 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 because 21 is inpatient. And remember, this patient did not get admitted. She was in the observation room. 23, no. 23 is for the emergency room. 22, yes. 22 is outpatient. The patient is outpatient because went in and got out on the same day within 23 hours. The patient did not get admitted. And that's it. That's the only code that we have for a patient that is in the observation room. Patient gets to go home within oh, less than 23 hours. The patient did not get admitted. Pretty simple, right? Just one code. By the way, what is 992? Well, remember, we are right now coding from the evaluation and management face to face doctor, patient, or if the patient is a minor, doctor and patient and parents or a guardian or a, an adult. So 992, evaluation and management, face to face. And in this case, 17 is going to tell you that this was a patient that was seen in the observation room. Patient did not get admitted, is not going to get admitted, is going to go home. Don't complicate your life. That's it. 99217, a patient came to the observation room and gets to go home within 23 hours. Hmm. But what about if our patient is going to get admitted? The patient did not get well and doctor decides to admit the patient. Okay, but well then we're talking about something else. Now let's talk about 99218, 99217, place of service 22. Repeat after me. 99217 is for a patient that was in the observation room. The patient did not or is not going to get admitted. The patient got better and went home in less than 23 hours. And our place of service is outpatient. Outpatient is 22. Make sure that you get that, because now we're going to learn about the next three codes, which is a patient in the observation room is going to get admitted. These three codes are for a patient that did not get better. Doctor decides to admit the patient. Now, the doctor decides to admit a patient due to a low complexity problem, 99218. If the doctor decides to admit the patient due to a moderate problem, 
then you're going to use 99219. If the doctor decides to admit a patient due to a high complexity problem, then you are going to use 99220. Remember, our last digit means time spent with the patient, complexity of the problem, medical decision making, review of systems. So the higher the number, first of all, more expensive. So this is a patient for uh, that was an observation room and it's going to be admitted due to a minor problem. The doctor still doesn't want to take chances and he's going to admit the patient. This one, the patient has an intermediate, moderate, still uh, problem that makes the doctor decide to admit the patient. 9, 9 to 20, the patient is doing not good at all. So doctor decides to admit the patient due to a high complexity problem. Now, what is our place of service? Our place of service is a still outpatient 22 because this patient is not admitted yet, is going to be admitted. 99217, the patient is not going to be admitted. So forget about 99217. We're gone. We're done with Mary. Mary is gone. She went home. Hub. But how about um, Laura? Laura kept bleeding. Laura kept having contractions. So the doctor is going to admit the patient because she might have the baby. Okay? So 99218 to 99220 is a patient that is still in the observation room, but is going to be admitted. It is in the process of being admitted, has not been admitted yet. That's why it's not place of service 21 in patient. 22, because while the patient is in the observation room, outpatient, the doctor makes the decision to admit the patient. So in another words, the doctor is telling the insurance company, I have a patient in the observation room, and because I made the decision to admit the patient, I want for you to pay me. My medical decision making is low complexity, but I still need to admit the patient. So then you bill 99218. Or the doctor says, this patient is not doing good, and we better admit this patient. Just because I'm a doctor and I'm, I'm making a decision to admit the patient under my responsibility, and just because I went to school for so many, 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 many years, and I can make this decision, I need for you to pay me. So these codes are for a doctor that is going to admit a patient. Don't get confused, the patient is not admitted yet, is going to. 99217, the doctor is billing 99217 for a patient that he saw in the observation room and patient went home. 99218, 99221, and 99220 is for a patient that definitely is going to get admitted. But it's going to be admitted is your key word. That means that the patient is still in observation room, which is 22, because it's still that patient. Remember our four patient status, new patient, established patient, inpatient, and outpatient. So the patient status is outpatient. This patient, we're not calling right now for a patient that has been admitted already in the hospital. We're still talking about observation. Let's pretend that in the hospital, 
Room, um, the observation room is in floor number two, in the second floor. And the patients that get admitted, they are in the seventh floor. So we're still, we're still talking about patients that are in the second floor. Observation, outpatient, 22. Once the patient gets moved to the seventh floor, those patients have been, they have been admitted. So that's when it's going to change to 21. But right now, for these four codes, your place of service is 22 observation. One more time. 99217 is for a patient that never gets admitted. The patient is in the observation room, gets to go home in less than 23 hours. 99218, 99219, and 99220 are the three codes that we have for a patient that is in observation and is going to be admitted. This patient right here for these three codes don't get to go home, okay? Remember, we are learning CPT codes, current procedural terminology. We are still in the first section of the CPT code book. Remember, the CPT code book is divided in six sections. Right now, we are in the first section, evaluation and management, and we're going to be here for a while, okay? But... Eventually, the CPT code has anesthesia codes, surgery codes, radiology codes, lab codes, and more. But right now, don't get overwhelmed. Right now, we're calling for evaluation and management face-to-face, -face, where the doctor can charge just for seeing the patient. Remember, all of the CPT codes are five digits. Always. What about code 99216? Well, what about it? It doesn't exist. 99216, it doesn't exist. There is nothing for 99216. So when you are calling for an established patient, 99211 all the way to 99215, the next code will be 99217. There is nothing for 99216. Capisco? Okay, that's it for today. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to code for when once the patient gets admitted and so on. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for uh, sharing, subscribe, and like. Remember, these videos are for you beginners and I love doing this and I'm very happy that people are watching these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and I'm gonna see you soon in my next video. Okay, see you later. Bye.